Hi everyone, it's Millie. I've just realized how random this video is. Like anyone that's clicked on this video is gonna be so confused, like if you've been watching me for a while. As a matter of fact, whilst I'm recording this, I already have the fake titties on my chest. I got it done a week ago and I filmed the whole process and you're gonna see that in this video. All of my friendship group know. I haven't told my family yet. I feel a bit awkward doing that. I can't really, I just can't go up to my grandma and tell her I've got fake tits. Like that just can't happen. This has come out of nowhere, but I have always known like since I was 16, since my boobs kind of stopped growing that i would get a boob job if i had the money because i just did not like them at all i hated how they looked i didn't like the nipple placement or anything i either live with it or get surgery and become confident and if surgery means that i'm more happy and i become more confident in my own body and all that shit, then i'll do it how I looked at it was like, A, if I didn't die during surgery and B, if one boob en didn't end up being up here and the other down there, then it's all good. I'm kind of a spontaneous person. So when I turned 18, which was like a month ago, just over a month ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to book in a consultation and just see what happens. I was debating whether to tell you guys or not. I was like, do I just like brush it under the carpet and just not tell anyone? But then I was like, no, because I really want to film my experience. So if any of you guys are thinking of getting it done, I want them to watch this video and see what the process is like to get my boob job i went through mya maya cosmetic surgery and they i could like 110 percent recommend 150 percent recommend like i can't tell you how good my experience was you'll probably be able to see it in the vlog actually how good and how much i enjoyed it oh and if anyone's watching this video and you don't agree with boob jobs and you're gonna comment hey or whatever i don't give a fuck thank you all for coming to my ted talk i hope to see you all next time so i did it and i think it's one of the best decisions i've ever made in my life honestly for myself anyway i feel like so confident so confident to all my viewers and subscribers i really hope you forgive me for like keeping you in the dark about this thing i literally didn't say a word to anyone didn't put it on social media in any way the main reason for that is because i haven't even told my mum yet and i I've, I've got had it done and i haven't told my mum. i didn't want to worry her and i also didn't know what to say over the phone it has to be like an in-person thing <laughs> So I ended up telling my mum on FaceTime because I couldn't wait to see her in person. I thought that was too long and she had such a good reaction. She was so happy for me. I even showed her and she just smiled a little bit, had a little bit of a smirk on her face. <laughs> I love her. I love her a lot. <sighs> Hi. So today is the big day. It's surgery day. I thought I'd wake up today and feel like really nervous and sick, but I actually don't feel that bad. It's like 8 a.m. right now. I keep yawning, but I'm not a morning person at all. But yeah, I still feel pretty good. I'm just not letting myself like think about it too much. How I see it is like in situations like this, being nervous and worried has absolutely no difference on the outcome whatsoever. So you might as well not be worried. So I'm gonna get out of bed now and get ready to be cut open and have foreign objects inserted inside of my body. Can't wait. Yay! <laughs> Hi, so I'm in my ward right now. I have a private room, I'll show you. Um, it looks like this. I think that's the bed that I'm obviously like wheeled about in. And then this is a stationary one that I'm using right now, currently watching Shane Dawson's episodes of the Jake Paul thing. I got given this gown, got told to take everything off, including like jewellery. The doctor that gives me the anaesthetic just came in and talked to me about that, asked me questions, and then I also just saw the surgeon and he got a pen and was like drawing out all the technical stuff that he'll need to like do the operation. I'm not actually sure what. And now it's going to be about an hour's way and then we'll go into the operating theatre and everything will begin. So, I'm out of the surgery now. It was all such a success. Um, I'll tell you the story of basically what happened. So the nurses came in and said that I'm ready for my surgery. So I walked through to the ward, led down, and they put like a heart rate monitor on me and all those other like technical hospital things. And then they put a needle in the back of my hand. Then I did feel tired and I just slowly drifted off um, along with some oxygen as well. And then that was that. They did their thing and I woke up and I was in my ward or traveling down to my ward because they woke me up. And yeah, it's all done, it's all a success. I can't tell you exactly what it looks like because I've got like loads of bandages on myself right now. Bit of blood seeped through as well. But yeah, I'm really, really happy, I'm really happy. I don't even feel ill whatsoever. I thought I'd wake up and feel so sick from the general anaesthetic because they said to expect that, but I feel so normal. Only thing is I'm just gonna go back to sleep now because I am a little bit drowsy. I'm gonna take a nap right here.
So yeah, it's an overnight stay, so I've got the rest of today, it's like 2pm right now, and I've got the rest of today to keep myself busy, as in keep myself busy on my phone and laptop and stuff, and then I go home tomorrow morning. I asked Kami if he'd pick me up and he said yes. I've also got these things on my legs which like squeeze them and stuff, again I think to help circulation. Still got that on the back of my hand, but other than that, I'm pretty much normal. So I woke up like 20 minutes ago or so and I'm so gassed because I've just got food. Look at this, this is f***ing unreal. I just love food in general. It's just plain toast, but they got Nutella as well. Biscuits, hot chocolate, and they've got two things of Nutella as well because I'm going to have both of them. <laughs> Jam as well. Oh wow, yum, yum, yum. I haven't eaten since yesterday at like 2 p.m. Safe to say that that was a success. I've literally gone through so much water. I think I've gone through like one and a half jugs so far. I'm pretty sure I can show you this and YouTube won't demonetize it because it's quite covered. But this is the situation right now. So finally I'm having something other than water, which is exciting, a little bit of squash. And then I've got my main food here, I got fish pie and rice and it actually, it doesn't look good because I've destroyed it with ketchup <laughs> because I'm a northerner and that's what I do. However, it's actually really, really nice, it's so good. And without even asking, they brought ketchup and salt as well. I'm vibing right now, I'm fully vibing. It's weird because I saw Shani Grimman's vlog of her getting her boobs done and after she did, she was so groggy and ill in bed. She was like, oh, this anaesthetic, I need painkillers and all this. And I was really, really expecting that. I was expecting to be ill over the next few days, but I feel so good. Like, I feel so normal. So I'm going to eat my fish pie in peace and love life. <laughs> I really am happy, guys. I'm so happy. Please do ignore the blood on my shirt. I can't tell if it's disgusting and I shouldn't show you or not. It's not right. It's just like there. Can I just say my boobs feel so hard, like so hard. They feel like a rock. <laughs> that won't last forever. That literally just lasts a few weeks. It's crazy. It's quite funny actually. But yeah, we just chilling. It's like half seven and I kind of want to go to sleep, but I don't want to wake up at like 4am. So it's now half past 10 and I've literally just been chilling the whole day. I had the best food, best experience. The staff are so, so lovely. I cannot stress how good the experience was it went so smoothly i still don't feel that ill i just can feel my chest getting a bit tighter as the painkillers are wearing off but i don't feel sick i just feel my chest getting really really tight also something that i've realized is that my boobs are really high up at the minute like my nipples are like here but i think over the next six weeks they just start to drop but i'm gonna go to bed now get some sleep i've got really big bags under my eyes so i'm pretty sure i'm very tired um, and i will see you in the morning So it's about 3 a.m. I had about two hours sleep and I've just been awake for the past hour or so. I still feel fine. I don't feel sick or ill at all. My chest is just feeling very, very tight now. It's getting tighter and tighter as it goes on and I think it's because I've been let down for a while. It's going from a laying down position to sitting up, which hurts the most. Hi, it's the next day. I'm waiting for Carmi to come now. He'll be here in about 40 minutes. I've had the needle taken from the back of my hand and they have just given me this. Painkillers and antibiotics as well. I don't know which is which. I feel like they're the painkillers and they're the antibiotics, but I'm not sure. But yeah, they've provided these, so I'm gonna be using these over the next week or so just to help with the pain and everything. Packing my bags up, just uh, need to get everything together now. I'm still in this dressing and when Carby gets here he's going to bring me a sports bra because I forgot to bring one or I bought the wrong one um, and then once he brings that they can change the dressing I can wear the sports bra and I'm good to go. I was actually able to do my makeup I've just done my eyebrows and a tiny little bit of concealer and brush my hair and I'm good to go I don't actually look as much of a mess as I thought I would I mean I don't look great but I don't look that much of a mess. <laughs> I've got my Calvin Klein joggers on. I still have to keep these stockings on my leg. They like really like squeeze them. I think that's for circulation or something. And then obviously they need to fit the sports bra and then I can go. So I've left the ward now, I guess. And even holding my phone up to record is starting to hurt just the tiniest bit. It's just because my chest feels so, so tight. I'm not in any pain in terms of like feeling sick. I just feel so tight. Like I can barely move, like I'm so restricted. I always run up the stairs like a little kid, but I'm not gonna be able to do that for the next month. You know, if someone were to put a belt around your wrist really, really tight, it'd be uncomfortable, but it wouldn't necessarily be painful. That's how I feel right now, and I think it's because the skin stretched so much. But I don't feel sick at all. I'm only gonna take the painkillers when I need them, but um, I'm gonna take the antibiotics every day, obviously.
always finish your round of antibiotics. Otherwise, we'll become resistant to it and humanity will die. But yeah, this experience was a nice excuse to spend the rest of the day in bed. I also don't have to go to the gym for the next like six weeks and I can't even feel guilty about it. I'm gonna get a boob job every month. Jokes. <laughs> I also thought I'd show you the sports bra. It's from m and this is what it looks like. It like zips up and down at the front so it's really easy to take on and off. Oh, it looks like I've fled through it a little bit already. <laughs> But I just looked at it now and I've got so much dressing on at the minute, but my boobs look so fake, like so fake. I'm also going to have two more sports bras that I'll be switching between. I also can't get the dressing wet, so it means that I can't shower this part for ages. I can only clean it with like baby wipes and antibacterial wipes and stuff, which is fine, but it's a bit annoying to have to like avoid it in the shower all the time. It ain't gonna work. Like if I wash my hair, water's gonna drip down so easily. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> It's three days after the surgery now, so three days post-op. I'm gonna be talking work because I've got teeth whitening strips on currently. I constantly look ugly in this vlog and it's really frustrating me. Up until today, I had no pain whatsoever in my chest and then tonight I started feeling like a popping and fizzing sensation. It doesn't hurt, but that feeling is very, very uncomfortable. Like it does not feel natural. <laughs> like your titties shouldn't fizz. My boobs also still feel like bricks. I gotta wait for them to drop. After like two initial consultations, you then meet the surgeon and that's where like I'd say you design your titties. <laughs> I had Dr. Giannis and I literally owe my life to him. When you meet him, you decide on the size of your implants, the shape of them and basically what you want. You design your titties. I went for 300cc implants, which aren't really that big, but it brought me from like a cup size B slash C to like a D slash double D. I don't feel like they look like double D, so they're quite small. What CC implants you get depends on how big your boobs already are. So 300 CC isn't that big at all, but because I had quite a bit of breast tissue already, it makes it look bigger than someone who say had a double A cup. So then you decide what kind of implants you want. So you can have moderate plus, high profile, and I feel like there's another one, and that's basically how much they protrude out. High profile makes them look quite fake looking. There's not that much difference between them though. I got moderate plus, which are like the middle ones. But then he also shows you four pictures of different kinds of boobs and he's like, which one do you want? You can either have them go full out like that with a nipple in the middle or maybe more natural where they slope down and go full at the bottom. Again, whichever option you choose, there's not that much difference. Like the difference is so subtle. So I left it at that and got moderate plus 300cc implants and went for like quite a natural look from the side, I think. So for me, between meeting the surgeon and the surgery day, there was like a two week wait. And the length of time between the initial consultation and the surgery day was like a month and a week, something like that. Hi, you're seeing me one week post-op right now. I'm literally just about to go into my appointment where they remove all the current dressing. Like, you saw all the dressing that I had on. I still have that on. Um, and they're going to remove it. And I don't know what they're going to put on instead. If they're going to replace it with that stuff again or put something less on. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of nervous, though, because I feel like I've been pulling stitches out and stuff because I've been so active, like, lifting my arms up and stuff. Like, I've been feeling so fine. So I've been f finding it so hard to stay bedridden. Like, if someone's telling me, you can't move, you have to rest for a week, I ain't going to rest. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go in there and see what they say. I have a feeling I'm gonna get told off by them. <laughs> we'll see. So this is week one post-op appointment where they basically redo all the dressing. One of the temporary little hospital rooms just sat down waiting for someone to come in and redo my dressing because obviously the dressing that they put on is coming off. I've never got naked in front of so many strangers in the space of one week before. I'm into it. Okay, so during that appointment that I went to, I actually saw my boobs, like, complete, like, with no stitching, no dressing, just how they actually look. And obviously, they're still healing, and that's not how they will look finally. But, like, the nipple size, like, the positioning of it, like, even though I know it's going to change slightly, like, it's so, so perfect. They are so symmetrical. Like, I'm so gassed. She said that it was healing all amazingly, which is surprising because I've been so active this week. Like, I also got some Dr. Pepper as well because I haven't had it in ages, and I'm just craving it, and they had it in a vending machine and I was like can this place get any better I put the flash on so it's a bit better quality but I'll show you a quick update of what they look like because in the space of like a week or so they have changed quite a bit like they look a lot more natural I've put the flash on so you can see a little bit better I'm trying to like be careful with what I show because I don't want to get <laughs> this video deleted but yeah it's so crazy because there's absolutely no support right now like that it's not holding them up at all and they're just doing this by themselves like it's so crazy there's a lot less dressing on right now. It's literally just plasters covering the stitches. I'm so happy with them though. It's actually crazy. They still need to drop a little bit more, but yeah, I'm so gassed. 
So we're now a week and a half post-op and I'm gonna end the video here, end the journey here. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. That is actually insane. The only thing left to do is for me to end this video. It's literally about to go live in about an hour and I'm excited, slightly nervous, but excited. I hope you guys have enjoyed following the journey. I'm definitely very happy that I've got you guys involved in this experience. There's no message to this video. The message is whatever you want it to be, but I hope you've enjoyed watching and I will see you in a future video. Bye guys.